Greenland is the world's largest island with the lowest population density. Greenland is the world's largest island, with a size of 2.175.600 square kilometers. Greenland is located between the North Atlantic Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. That area is larger than the following countries combined, France, Germany, Spain, United Kingdom, Italy, Greece, Switzerland, and Belgium. Approximately 80% of Greenland is permanently covered in ice. The ice sheet is covering the middle of the huge island and it is the world's largest glacier. The ice sheet is several kilometers thick and, in some places, it is so heavy that it has pushed part of the mainland below sea level. The Greenland ice sheet has an average thickness of 5,000 feet, reaches a maximum thickness of about 10,000 feet and covers more than 700,000 square miles over four-fifths of Greenland's total land area. The unfrozen parts of Greenland are covered by tundra, which is a flat, treeless landscape with whipping winds. But even the tundra has some ice, permafrost, or frozen soil, sits beneath much of the Greenland's tundra. The island's coastline is mostly rocky, and there, s a lot of it. If it stretched out like a string, the coastline would measure 24,430 miles, which is almost long enough to stretch around the Earth at the equator. Most of the vegetation on the island exists on the tundra, away from the ice sheets. Many marine mammals live in the seas around the island, including seals, walruses, and whales. Polar bears, Arctic foxes, wolves, reindeer, and muskoxen can be found roaming the island's ice sheets. The coastal area also attracts some 230 bird species, including sea eagles that feed on saltwater fish like salmon, flounder, and halibut. Nearly half of Greenland is protected as the National Park of Greenland, Greenland's only national park, and the world's largest national park. If Greenland's ice sheet were to melt completely, sea levels would rise by about 23 feet causing devastation to the billions who live along the world's coasts. The island of Greenland is surrounded by numerous minor islands. However, after climate change causes Greenland's glacial cover to melt, it is likely that many other minor islands will be revealed. With few roads and no trains, all travel across Greenland is only by plane, boat, helicopter, snowmobile or dogzled. Wildlife of Greenland Greenland is home to many species of mammals and birds, including polar bears, reindeer, musk oxen, arctic foxes, eagles, ptarmigan, hares, lemmings and the arctic wolf. The shoreline and waters are visited by, or home to, five different species of seals, 15 types of whale, plus walrus. There are approximately 235 different species of birds in Greenland. Most of these are migratory, with around 60 species breeding on the island. And bird life include white-tailed eagles, ptarmigan, fulmers, auk, duck and geese. The Arctic waters surrounding Greenland abound in whales, including the narwhal, humpback, sperm, pilot, blue, minke, beluga and fin whales. Seals are also extremely common, with a population of around 2 million. The Greenland polar bear hunts seals and birds from the sea ice year-round and sometimes comes on shore to consume vegetation in the summer. The bears usually do not hibernate during winter. History of Greenland In the 17th century, European whale hunters regularly came ashore and in the 18th missionaries and traders from Denmark and Norway settled the coast. Greenland was first inhabited about 4,500 years ago, by people who came from what is now Canada. The Vikings founded Bratelid and the two small villages of Vesterbygden and Osterbygden. Around the year 1000, the population had reached around 3,000, with 300 to 400 farms, according to Greenland Guide. For around 500 years, the Vikings lived alongside the Inuit people. Then, the Viking communities seemed to disappear in the late 15th century. What happened remains a mystery. Some people suggest the Vikings succumbed to a mini ice age or other harsh living conditions. They did leave behind many artifacts, however, providing clues to their living situations and way of life. Weather of Greenland 
Late June ushered in a significant shift in weather and melting for Greenland, particularly for the southern portion of the ice sheet, known as South Dome, where melting is currently on a record pace. Melting along the northern rim of the ice sheet is also greater than average. These changes are a result of a shift in the air circulation, associated to negative North Atlantic oscillation, now, index values. High air pressure now covers the island, bringing warm winds from the southwest and favoring sunnier condition enhancing the surface melt in the ablation zone. West Greenland. Discover a modern and cosmopolitan capital of just 18,000 gregarious and welcoming people dwarfed by a natural wilderness of savage beauty and awesome scale. Venture to remote communities that still subsist by hunting and fishing. Satisfy your thirst for adventure with a host of Arctic activities, from dog sledding to trekking and kayaking. Southern Greenland. More sparsely populated and less developed than the west of the country, southern Greenland has a particularly notable history. The town known today as Narzaswak inspired the stories of the green-covered fjord shared by Norsemen. The region tells of how the Inuit people have learned to live and adapt in the past and present. Visit Viking ruins museums and fish markets, in between sighting caribou, trekking through the green pastures, and kayaking. East Greenland. This is truly the edge of our world, a region whose harsh climate and almost impenetrable mountains make human existence so difficult that it's virtually uninhabited. Explore Scoresby Sund, the world's largest fjord system, and visit tiny Itokortormit, Greenland's most remote community. North of here is the world's largest national park, whose dramatic fjords are briefly accessible each year only by expedition ship.